Hello. Good morning, dear members of the exam board, crew members, uh, uh, prime crew of Soyuz MSN3, uh, increments 5051 to the ISS are ready uh, for the integrated Russian segment simulation. Good job. Did you put the date? Yesterday you had the first day of your qualification exams. So uh, what are the factors to a successful completion of your exams? <laughs> well, well, we can, uh, of course, success of any task depends on a well-coordinated work of the entire crew, which we've been able to do, and everything is going well. Do cosmonauts or astronauts have a superstitions or traditions prior to taking exams? <laughs> well, uh, the tradition is to take the uh, exam question, which is located on the left side on the table. The, the first time you flew on board the station, it was Soyuz TMA. And uh, right now you are going to uh, fly on a different vehicle. Which vehicle do you like more? Well, all the vehicles are very reliable, and uh, we don't have any doubts uh, in uh, their excellent operation. Est-ce que alors il y a plus de caméras parce que maintenant on est <rire> on est équipage principal et avant on était doublure. Euh, non, il y a peut-être je sais pas s'il y a plus de pression mais on se dit que maintenant ben, au moins on, on a la, la vraie fusée qui nous attend au bout du parcours. Avant ce n'était pas le cas même s'il fallait quand même être prêt. Euh, mais quelque part, ça devient un peu une routine, en fait, de, de, de se mettre dans le simulateur, parce qu'on connaît vraiment par, tout par cœur. C'est ça le but de l'entraînement, c'est que ça devienne normal, que ça devienne un milieu dans lequel on évolue en toute confiance. Donc quelque part, euh, bah, je pense que l'entraînement a été, été couronné de succès, parce qu'aujourd'hui, quand on arrive pour l'examen, on a confiance et on connaît tout. Anyway, so what By the outside looks, it doesn't really compare. But actually, the work is very similar. Uh, it's very procedure-based. Uh, some very intense dynamic phases, and then some more uh, long-term phases where you're monitoring the systems, like being on the, on the, on the cruise phase with the autopilot on. Lots of interactions with the ground, teamwork, uh, and then again a very dynamic phase for docking to the station, which is very similar to landing on the runway. It has inertia. Uh, the way you fly it is a little bit like a big airplane, so if you're asking me, I'm going to tell you that it's the closest there is um, to airline flying, uh, and that's why I've, I've, I've always liked to, uh, to fly in the Soyuz, because it reminds me of, uh, of a time not so distant. So, colleagues, especially Dear colleagues, thank you very much for your questions. Good morning. 
Dear members of the exam board, so you see what it says here? So here it says Kimbrough. <laughs> Are you suggesting that we take this envelope? Peggy, you have the hardest job. You're going to rest afterwards. Do you remember what date it is today? So this is the 24th. So who is the station commander? Who is the commander? How do you feel? Are you ready for uh, the exam? Well, our night was very restful. We had been preparing uh, prior to yesterday. So we are um, ready and we're feeling well. So you are going to celebrate New Year as aboard the station. Do we have presents or New Year tree? And what is so special about celebrating New Year's on the ISS? Well, celebration is always a celebration. We have a tree on board of the station. And the only thing is that all the decorations are very safe and soft. And do you have presents? Well, it is going to be a surprise. Yes, uh, it is a secret. Toma, well, I know that one of your hobbies is playing saxophone. Are you going to play for your crew members? Well, honestly, I don't know. I have been discussing this with Isa. I talked to them yesterday. They told me that they are doing their best. So it is not clear yet if it's going to be there. But if it will be, I uh, will play for my crew members, and it will be great. And uh, how old is your saxophone? Well, currently, it is uh, already in the U.S. because it will be delivered on station on a U.S. cargo vehicle. And uh, I have been playing saxophone for uh, 15 years. And what music are you going to play? What tune? It is also going to be a surprise. It is a big secret also. Have you selected a mascot for your uh, expedition? What do you mean by mascot? Oh, do you mean weightlessness indicator? It is almost ready at this point, but it is also a secret. We are one very secretive crew. Uh, do you think that you ha we will have difficult uh, exam tasks, or uh, would you prefer to work on certain of nominal situations? during your exam. First of all, we don't know what kind of questions we're going to get, but we have already practiced all the abnormal situations that could possibly occur on the station. We don't have any questions, and I think everything will be fine. So uh, the first impression of space, of space flight is the strongest one. What are your expectations at this point? At least I would like to experience my first impressions. Next space mission, what are you looking forward to the most once you get on board? Well, I'm looking forward to working with uh, my crewmates and uh, joining Shane and his crew on board space station. I think uh, it'll be interesting for me. From my previous flight, it was only three crew members, uh, and now it'll be six crew members, at least for the first half of the mission, and then five crew members after that. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course, we've got lots of exciting science uh, that we're going to be doing, and I like being busy. So so I'm looking forward to doing all different kinds of science. Oui, bien sûr, sure, on, on fait beaucoup d'observations de la Terre, on a une, une, une vitre panoramique, donc j'essaie de prendre les plus belles photos euh, possibles de tous les endroits de la Terre. Évidemment, j'ai une petite pensée pour, pour ma Normandie natale. Et euh, si elle n'est pas sous les nuages, et ce qui arrive de temps en temps quand même, eh j'essaie de prendre des belles photos, peut-être de nuit, avec la côte qui se dessine, ou de jour, euh, ça, ça peut être assez magnifique. <rire> <Okay, rire> <rire> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. 
spacecraft crew members, and you are ready for the exams. These are increments 50, 51. Yes. Good morning. All the documents have been prepared for you. <laughs> you can hear well? Yes, I can hear well. Well, we just want to make sure that you can see well. Good job. Very well. Fyodor Anatolovich, I would like to ask you to pay attention to details. Do you feel nervous uh, before your exams? Well, you know, mostly I'm looking forward for tonight when we will be able to put aside all the books and next time we will touch the books at the launch site because lately we have been working a lot with uh, onboard data files. And do you have any superstitions before taking exams? Uh, for example, college students put coins in their shoes for good luck. Well, personally, I don't have uh, any superstitions. Sometimes I think, did I wake up on the wrong side of the bed? But then, uh, no, personally, I don't have any. I apologize. Could you please speak up? Could you please repeat your question? Do you have uh, any superstitions that you believe in prior to taking exams? For example, college students put coins in their shoes uh, for good luck on exams. <laughs> well, I would like to pass my exam. Of course, we have had a lot of training. And for me, it is a great honor to be working with uh, Fyodor Nikolaevich and Paolo. They're both very experienced cosmonauts, and I think that currently we are ready. For Jack Fisher for NASA TV, how does it feel to be training for your very first space flight and also to be working with uh, Paolo Nespoli and Fyodor Yushikin, uh, two seasoned uh, astronauts and cosmonauts? Oh, it's great. Uh, you know, I'm I'm very excited to get to space and, and on this very reliable uh, vehicle. We've had great training from the instructors, uh, and I have two very experienced uh, astronaut and cosmonaut to uh, fly with, so I can learn from them and and hopefully do a good job on orbit. Paolo for Isa TV in English and Italian. Paolo, it's your it's a historic flight for Italy and for Isa. It's the third for you. How ready do you feel today before this exam? Well, of course we are ready. We we trained uh, and uh, we have uh, a really expert crew. Jack never flew, but it's like he flew in space already 15 times. You know, he knows the board documentation uh, in and out, and uh, there is nothing that the instructor can throw at us so far that uh, these two guys cannot solve. I'm just trying to help the crew, making sure that everything works. But we feel ready, and we're ready to go, right? Yeah, in Italian. Um, in Italian, ok. I have to think about switch, ok. Uh, è un piacere essere qui oggi per uh, di nuovo questo addestramento. L'equipaggio è un equipaggio molto esperto. Jack non ha mai volato nello spazio, ma uh, è come se avesse volato perché è uno studente estremamente uh, forte e sa la documentazione uh, dall'inizio alla fine. Per cui l'equipaggio è pronto, siamo pronti, andiamo. Grazie. So, and we have two experienced guys and one very smart. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's wish good luck to the crew. Thank you.